Scottie Pippen to have undergone foot surgery right before the start of the 1997-98 season because he could have had surgery earlier on in the summer. But here's the thing, teammate Steve Kerr did not agree, saying he and plenty of other teammates really were not upset with Pippen and the timing of the surgery. He said they held no resentment towards when he decided to get the surgery done. So Shannon, are you on Kerr's side here or Michael Jordan? I'm on Steve Kerr's side, Skip. Now, I believe two things can be true. I believe Steve Kerr and a lot of the other teammates were not upset at Scotty. They had the utmost respect to it for him. They knew Jerry Krause was a, a butt to Scotty Pippen and should have renegotiated contract. Contract. Well, don't, don't sign this long-term deal. Don't come back. I get all that. But he should have renegotiated that deal. But I also believe that Michael Jordan was upset with Scotty Pippen because you know why he was upset, unlike most of them, Skip? Only Michael Jordan's legacy was going to be impacted had they lost. If Scotty, if they lose, nobody's going to say, man, Steve Kerr lost that last year. Dennis Rodman, Scotty, Luke Longley, whomever else, Scotty Burrell. Only Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was extremely selfish. You're talking about Scotty Pippen was selfish. You were selfish. First of all, I don't care if you Michael Jordan. I don't care if you Michael Buffer. I don't care if you Michael B. Jordan. Don't you speak on my money. Now, while Scotty Pippen was making $2.8 million, Michael Jordan was making $33 million. If you want to talk about being unselfish, Mike, you should have went to Jerry Krause and said, hey, man, I know I'm supposed to make $33 million, but break Scottie Pippen $10 million of my money off. So instead of making $33, let me make $23 and pass Scottie Pippen, let him make $12.8. That's what you should have done, but you're speaking on that man money. Scottie Pippen should have stepped to it. I know that's what old Shea Sharp would have done. Hey, bro, I know you goating all and you doing all that other stuff, but don't speak on my money now. That ain't what we do here. You don't speak on another man's money. Skip better. You know it. That's why you laughing. You don't speak on another man's money. Michael Jordan talked about that man selfish. Huh? You were selfish for taking all the money. Made 30 million one year, then 33 the next year. You were selfish. You should have said, hey, you know what? I know I can make all this because Skip Bayless tell me, been telling everybody, and I'm glad this subject came up. Dak Prescott, you got all these national commercials. You making all this money. Give him a little discount. You ain't say that by Mike. Mike had Haynes, Mike had Gatorade, Mike had everything, and he got $33 million. Not one time did you say Michael Jordan should have broke bread with Scottie Pippen and let him get $10 million. You ain't do that, did you? But you want Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, you see what he doing? Don't you give him no discount either. But I believe Michael Jordan was very upset at Scottie because he knew this was going to impact his legacy. The other guys was going to have no bearing. There was nobody that was going to be skip if they made if they won this championship was going to get in the Hall of Fame. Dennis Rodman was already going to be a Hall of Famer skip because he had four championships and two defensive players of the year. Scottie Pippen was already going to get in the Hall of Fame. So nobody else was going to be impacted like Michael Jordan was. And Michael Jordan was upset that Scottie did this and put this last dance a loss in the title game against uh, a loss for the championship in, in jeopardy by him having foot surgery so late. Shannon Sharp, once upon a time what? during a practice, Michael Jordan stepped to Steve Kerr and popped him right in the jaw, right in his pretty <laughs> face. And I would submit to you right now that as we speak, Michael would like to step to Steve Kerr again and pop him <laughs> one quick time right in that pretty face of his. I don't know. From what you just said, Michael might want to step to Shannon Sharp, though I think at this point, as we see Michael at age 57, I'm not sure he could handle Shannon Sharp now. Maybe back in 98, he could have handled Shannon Sharp, though it would have been a good fight. I'll give you that. But here's my point. I am so with Michael Jordan over this, and I am so ashamed that I'm actually sharing a show with a man who just turned Michael Jeffrey Jordan <laughs> selfish for wanting to win games. He, Michael didn't care about winning legacy games. He cared about winning this game tonight and that game tomorrow and that game the next week. Yeah. He just was driven to win the next game before him. And the point was that Scottie Pippen was willing to handicap a championship team and sacrifice winning so that he could protest a contract that he signed, a contract that originally Jerry Reinsdorf, the owner of the Bulls, tried to talk him out of signing. 
It's on Scotty. He put pen to paper and inked the deal because he wanted long-term security. And obviously, as he rose in stature in the league fairly quickly, that contract got rendered obsolete fairly quickly. I get all that. Mm -hmm. I also remind you, Michael Jordan took far less than market value for a whole bunch of years before those final two years to help the Bulls have more cap flexibility to add some pieces around him. So I'm ashamed that anybody would think, especially Steve Kerr, that, oh, it's no problem. We don't have any problem with Scotty. He said on the, in the documentary, Scotty says, I didn't want to get surgery too early and F up my summer. Really? Exactly. Are you kidding? Yes. You, 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 you have a no. chance to, for a second three-peat for sixth ring, and you're saying, I'm going to take my time on surgery, and I'll be back at midseason when you really need me. And obviously, they got off to a little yeah. bit of a rocky start. They started four and four. And then all of a sudden, Jordan said, OK, enough of that. And I will give you this. Rodman started to step up and take a little stronger role in being the second star on that team. And here they went. And they went 62 and 20 that year, which was it was good enough. It was just fine. So they didn't really miss Scotty that much. And yet this this whole notion of, ah, I'm going to wait on surgery because you're screwing me with my contract that I signed. Yes. This is why, in the end, this is why Pippen wasn't Jordan. Jordan would have never thought like that. Jordan just was obsessed and possessed with winning championships, winning games that led to winning championships. And there's no way he's going to sacrifice his team's ability to win so that he can, could improve his, his personal contractual status. And, and I'm ashamed of Steve Kerr saying that. Again, Steve's a nice guy and he loves everybody. And it's like, oh, let's peace and love. It's all OK. If you need to do that, that's fine with us. OK, maybe you like yeah. you say, two things can be true. But I am with Michael Jeffrey Jordan on Whoa. this and Whoa. you should be, too. And Whoa. I think you are. Skip Bayless. No, no. Hold on. You keep telling me Scotty Pippen was nothing. He was nothing. And Michael Jordan's the GOAT. He didn't need Scottie Pippen. Why are you worried about it? Scottie Pippen waited to have surgery the day of the season started. Why are you worried about it? You the GOAT. That's what you've been telling everybody. He didn't need Scottie Pippen. Now all of a sudden, Scottie Pippen uh, is, is, uh, is selfish because Scottie's worried about Scottie. Scottie was in a very different situation, Skip. He had two people in his home that were in wheelchairs, and he needed he wanted the security to make sure they could be provided for. I don't fault that man for that. I do not, because I okay. would have done the exact same thing, and a lot of times I did early in my career take less money because I didn't want my grandmother to ever have to worry about anything ever again. But Skip Baylor. Okay, but so good. It's easy so, to so, so, Okay. Skip. Go ahead. But you keep saying, but oh. Mike, it's, it's easy to say somebody being selfish when you making 33 million and you getting another 15 from Nike and you getting Hanes money, you getting uh, 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 McDonald's money, you getting Gatorade money. It's easy to say somebody being that man making 2.8 million probably ain't got nothing off the off the field. And then you gonna talk about that man selfish? It reminds me of a guy. Hold on. Then Demarcus Lawrence says, "I tell you what, y'all franchises don't give me that my money." I'm going to wait right before the season started to get them shoulders worked on. And what happened, Skip? It's amazing. Now, Jerry, Jerry Krause stuck to his gun, says, I'm not redoing it. Jerry Jones buck, buckled and had to do the deal. So Scotty Pippen tried to put as much pressure as he possibly could, hoping that Jerry Krause would change his mind. He didn't. But Michael Jordan was out of line. I don't care if you the GOAT. I don't care what you are. You can be a buffalo for all I care. Don't speak on my money. Which side of your mouth are you speaking out of? Because out of one side over here, you say, I'm just fine with Pip saying, I'm going to take care of those two people in wheelchairs who are living in my yeah. house back in Arkansas. Good. OK, great. Yeah. Take the money up front, yes. the security up front, sign yeah. the dotted line and live with it. Mm -hmm. Now, out of the other side of your, no. your mouth, you're saying, yeah, sacrifice. Make it harder for the team to win. You're obviously the second best player on yeah, the team. Like and again, Michael like showed you like that, that year. Yeah. He didn't yeah. really need him. He never really needed him. And when 
Obviously, when, when it, Scotty we, had the team to himself, 93-94, Scotty, boy, in that game three against the Knicks in the playoffs, he took himself out of the game. That showed you. That exposed Scotty for what he really was. He just didn't have the winner intangibles that Michael was born with and gifted with and that drove the Bulls. Michael didn't ultimately need Scottie Pippen. It was nice to have the second best player on the team, but it was Michael who who spoke out and said it's wrong to do that to a team because everybody should be all in on winning the way Michael was. Money or no money, yeah. you signed it, you live with it. I'm sorry, that's it. If, and I'm sorry, Steve Kerr. I guess Steve if, now thinks he's full of himself because he won three rings as a coach that, uh, outside yeah, of yeah. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Way to go. He sure did. And he, and he went to San Antonio and won some more rings without Mike. It's easy yeah. to say somebody way, else is being selfish when you're making $33 million from the Bulls and probably another $30-plus plus million dollars off the court. It's easy to say somebody else being selfish when you got that kind of gravy coming in. Stop that, Skip Bayless. You guys aren't going to figure this one out. You're not going to get to a conclusion here, so I'm going to change the subject. How about this? Michael Jordan and Tom Brady both have six titles, but who is more clutch? We do.